So once again, I'll just put up our little reminders. Today we're gonna to be having a look at quotient rule and trigonometric functions. So we've got that sine goes to cos, goes to negative sine, goes to negative cos, goes back to sine. There's a little loop of four. So sine, cos, negative sine, negative cos, and sine goes to cos. And the other rule that we need to remember is that the derivative of tan of x well, actually, we're not going to be using tan today, so I'm not going to worry about that, but just a reminder, it's 1 over cos squared of x. Alrighty, so let's imagine we've got a function f of x, and it's equal to sine of 2x over cos of 3x. Alrighty, so imagine this. Now, if we wanted to actually work through this, well, this is a quotient, right? Where this is my top and this is my bottom, well that means I can use quotient rule. So let's label the top as u, the bottom as v, and the quotient rule says, well the derivative is just the derivative of the top, u dash times v minus v dash u, the derivative of the bottom times the top, all over the bottom squared. And now it's just a game. So if u is sine of 2x, well then u dash sine goes to cos is cos of 2x, but chain rule, bring the 2 out, so we get 2 cos of 2x. And v dash, well, cos goes to negative sine, so we're gonna get negative sine of 3x, but chain rule says bring the 3 out. So from here, it's just a substitution game, right? So this will be equal to u dash, which is 2 cos of 2x times v, which is cos of 3x minus, and then in this case, it's gonna be minus three of sine of 3x, that's v dash, times sine of 2x, all over the bottom squared, which is cos of 3x squared. Alrighty, so, Let's simplify this a little bit. So we're going to get 2 cos of 2x cos of 3x. Now you might ask if we can combine these terms. We actually can't just because they are in fact distinct. The second part is going to be plus, minus minus becomes plus, 3 sine of 3x sine of 2x. And for similar reasons as over there, we cannot combine these. There are some rules that do allow us to combine these things, but we are not going to be looking at those today. And the cos 3x squared is better written as cos squared of 3x. And there we go, and there's our final answer. So that's just a quick look at derivatives of quotients. Alrighty, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.